www.andrewmartinmusic.com. Um, it's something I haven't done in a while, some uh, jazz guitar musings. Um, the risk is, the, at 65, the risk is feeling pretty decent, so uh, I ran across Pat Martino's uh, book, uh, Linear Expressions, I think that's what it's called, and uh, he has five activities in it. And um, I'm going to use the key of G, uh, 251 here. Okay, so um, his first activity here is, that's the first part. Okay, so his, his approach here is um, to use A minor over the 2 and the 5, and then the relative minor to G, so E minor. Um, and it can be any minor. You can see he starts off with the blues scale there, um, a form of the blues scale. And then the, I think this is very interesting because he's, he's riffing off the 4th degree of the A, A melodic minor which is the Lydian dominant. Okay, so, um, and then I think the color really comes uh, here. Where he's using the upper extension of that D, which is a, uh, a C major seventh arpeggio, and that's a that's a beautiful color there. So again, um, okay, a little bit sloppy. Uh, that's who I am. Um, okay, so um, that's the first activity. Um, and we're just going to move back to the fifth act activity because of the key here, it just works out well. And you can see how that um, upper extension C major 7 arpeggio uh, is really the meat and potatoes of this, in my opinion. Um, so the, the fifth activity goes like this. Or something like that, very close to that. Um, and then the second activity is um, off the first inversion, so there we go. So you have a two, five, one. Second inversion, you get this, and that goes like this. Okay, so um, there's a another activity but you can do your um, your homework there um, basically what I want to try and do here is um, take the idea and the concept and attempt to start to make it sound 
musical. So uh, I did a loop here of D A minor two five one. As always, fire the bass player. But um, I'm gonna try and take some of his ideas and and, and try and make it somewhat musical. Will it be like jazz? Beginner jazz. Okay, so here we go. So the first approach would be typical approach. So yeah, that's a, I'm using quite a few of his uh, lines uh, from that exercise there. Now, to finish off here, we're going to listen to some Eric Bay talking about the Soul Trap. Apparently, Eric likes himself, and he wants to say he wants to say him to stay himself. He doesn't want to go back to source and lose his self-identity. It is what it is. Talking about the uh, the Gnostic Chloroma. Uh, you know, I'm a metaphysical dualist. I I think like I'm I'm fond of the the, the Samkhya. The irony here is Samkhya was basically an atheist school of ancient Vedic teaching, but they separated Purusha and Prakriti. And um, I don't like the fusion. I don't like the non-dual fusion, even though 
that's supposed to be the pinnacle of the Vedas. I think the Samkhya's were right that, that there is a, there is a an inherent dualism within reality uh, that human beings are never really going to figure out. Well, certainly not through science. But um, okay, well, I'll shut up now. Andrew Mark Music. Uh, doing some Pat Martino and my thoughts on Pat Martino. Um, happy that I could still do some scalar playing. Um, and listening to some some woo. What could be better? Okay, jazz and woo. Out of here. Andrew Murray Music. Bye.